Hi, this is Vibir. In this video, you are going to learn how to subtract octal numbers by using 8's complement method. For that, I have taken an example here. 34.22 minus 417.54. Very first, what you need to do? You need to take 8's complement for the subtrahend. To take 8's complement, you need to count the positions here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 positions are there in the subtrahend. You write seven, uh, 5 times 7 and then subtract this value 417.54. You keep the radix point as it is. 7 minus 4 is 3, 7 minus 5 is 2, 7 minus 7 is 0, 7 minus 1 is 6, 7 minus 4 is 3. Now this is what your 7's complemented value. When you add 1 to this 7's complemented value, you will be getting 8's complemented value. So now add 1 to it. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then 2 as it is, radix point as it is, 0, 6, 3. So this is your 8's complemented value for this subtrahend. Now what you need to do? After taking 8's complemented value for this subtrahend, you need to add that value to minor end. Let me write that minor end as it is, 3, 4, 2, 2. Now add this 8's complemented value, 360.360.24. Add this 2 plus 4, 6. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 0, 4. 3 plus 6, that is 9, which is not a valid number in the octal set. So take step 1. Step 1, 3 plus 6, that is 9. Convert this to octal. 8 ones are 8 and 1 remainder. 1 becomes your sum and this 1 becomes carry. So write sum here 1 and then carry here okay and then 1 plus 4 is a valid value for octal number system you can write as it is 1 plus 3 is 4 414.46 and what happens to this carry here carry is 0 so what you need to do if carry is equal to 0 this says that answer is negative answer is a negative number so what you need to do, you need to take, this is the first inference. Second, what you need to do, you need to take 8's complement for the answer. 8's complement for the answer. How to take? You need to count the questions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times you need to write 7. Then subtract this. 4, 1, 4, point four six. You retain the radix point as it is. 7 minus 6 is 1. 7 minus 4 is 3. Point. 7 minus 4, 3. 7 minus 1, 6. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then add 1 to it to get octal value. So that is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And this is 3.363. Three. So your answer is? 363.32 with negative sign. So I can write the answer like this. 34.22 which is octal number minus 417.54 is also another octal number. You need to get the answer here. That is a negative value. 363.32 is the answer. Let's take next example. Octal subtraction by 8's complement method is 364 minus 126. First take 8's complement for subtrahend. Next, what you need to do? You need to write the minor end as it is. 364. And then add this 8's complemented value. 652. 652. Then add 4 plus 2 is 6. Which is a valid number in octal set. Next is 6 plus 5. Which is... 11 which is not valid in octal number system so that take step 1 step 1 says that 6 plus 5 is 11 convert this to octal number system 8 ones are 8 so you will be getting 3 as a sum and 1 as carry so write that here 3 is sum and 1 is carry step 2 says that you need to take the next position value to add 1 3 6 which is 10 Divide this by 8. 8 1 times 2 is the sum and 1 is carry. So take that. So sum is 2 and then 
carry is 1. Carry is 1. Now, when you do subtraction by using H complemented value and then if carry is equal to 1, that means that answer is positive. Answer is positive. And then what you need to do? You need to ignore the carry. Ignore carry. So discard this carry. So the final answer is 236. 236 is the answer. That's all for octal subtraction by using H complement method. In this slide you can have a quick glance on octal subtraction using H complement method. Hope you like this video. Kindly like, share, subscribe for more videos and comment your topic of interest in the comment section and press bell icon to get upload notifications. Thank you.